thought I'd show you the squash harvest for the year before I start tucking in, because we are now autumn. Although the garden is winding down, um, it's not going to bed. Uh, there are a few things this week that I can pop in the garden. Yes, shaky, shaky, shaky. Very good. Um, so it's garlic. I've chosen a hard neck variety, it's Casablanca. So I've just been to the garden centre and got that. And also broad beans. So I'll be popping those in as well this week. I've just prepared the bed. I've given it a light um, tickle and a rake. So it's all nice and level. I'm going to put the garlic where the tomatoes were because they have had um, a lot of wood chip and compost added. It's where the greenhouse was supposed to be. And garlic really, really shouldn't be sitting in like heavy clay kind of soil. It needs, it needs um, a lot of organic matter. To get your garlic ready for planting, you simply take your bulb and you can see this one's really wanting to get going. Make sure it's clean, there's no blemishes, there's no hint of a disease and simply prise at the cloves and it'll start to pop open. Um, yeah, this one really, look at these, really wants to go. Oh, the smell, oh my gosh, the garlic. Now, it's the big ones you really want to plant. So there's a little one here, if you can see. This one, you know, if you need to plant it, then fine, you know, just to fill a row. But other than that, they're not as good as, say, these ones. These are the ones you want to plant. And what you do is, this is where the roots are. This is obviously quite clearly the growing tip. You put it about two bulbs width down like that and eventually it'll grow up, hit the surface and you'll start to see your garlic growing. And it's really nice in winter to look out and see something growing, a crop on the way. In the thick of winter it's it's lovely. So I'm just making a little dab with my trowel, popping my garlic in, making sure it stays standing upright, gently fill it back in. I want to do about six inches apart so I'm just using my trowel to measure, go like that and then the next one goes along. And if you use one of these string things or a bamboo cane or something like that just to keep it's straight, nice and tidy, and your garden will look pretty good. And again, measure with the trowel, six inches down. I'm just going to keep doing this until they're all planted. And then I'll cover it all with the netting for no other reason than to stop the chickens um, digging them all back up again. It's a rather lovely day for sad news. Um, so I've just had a call from mum and she's having to um, have the family dog put down. So the vet's gonna come round at three o'clock. And um, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be a good day, I don't think, from this point on. Uh, basically Maisie's kind of like, 
first real link to dad that we've had to say goodbye to. And not only that, but Maisie's one of those dogs that's really intelligent. Can, you know, read your mind, knows what you're thinking. And she's a lovely, wonderful dog, but you can't let them suffer. And as much as you don't want to say goodbye, you have to. So, I'm gonna head off down there now, have a cup of tea and say my goodbyes. Well, she went very quickly. Um, I couldn't handle it, I had to go. <laughs> um, but mum's told me, Maisie went very quickly, there was no pain, so that's good. I've been to Morrison's and treated myself to a pre-made pizza, <laughs> um, just which was absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's the vegan um, pulled uh, jackfruit thing, three pound fresh off the counter. Very nice, I'm buying that again. And now I'm just gonna finish off these ginger tiffins with my cup of tea. If you hadn't guessed, I eat my emotions. That's how I stay this figure. <laughs> um, but heading back to the garden so garlic in broad beans now normally I would sow them directly but um, there's an absolute slug army out there even the chickens are no match so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop them in these trays and get them into little seedlings which hopefully then have got stand a slightly better chance against the slugs. So that's it. And this is so good because it's taking me back to one of my first videos was doing my broad beans. I almost feel like I've done a year. I've never grown aquadultry. I've always grown Sutton beans, but as you saw, my Sutton beans basically I've gotten rust now so there was no way I was saving seed from those and I just got these they're on offer <laughs> um, so with sowing your broad beans you don't want any of these kind of cracked ones make sure that they're of a good quality these cracked ones are no good um, nasties could have gotten in there they could be eggs laying or you know they could be a disease or anything you know discard these you don't want any cracked ones or any that look diseased so these are good these are good and what you want to do is the top bit here there's always a top bit on them um that's the growing point that's where the plant's gonna send its green leaves from so that goes upwards and this slightly slimmer bit goes down and you literally just pop it in all the way down to the bottom cover it up give it a bit of cover and then you're going to water them all and that's pretty much it you've just got to wait for nature to happen now i think oh hello now I think on it, um, I may have told you wrong about beans, but <sighs> you may have to go back and look at the other video. I don't remember how you actually put them on their side and, and the top of the bottom comes out of that thing. But look, it's a broad bean. They are incredibly resilient. They'll grow. Here's the thing, people say, oh, oh I daren't, I daren't, I'll get it all wrong, I'll kill everything. Nature wants to grow. Give it a chance, you give it a chance and it will run. It will take every opportunity it can get. So even if I have told you wrong, look, you're still gonna get more beans. Don't worry about it. Just an FYI, um, I have finally sorted out all the internet stuff at home. So the videos should be a little bit more regular than they have been. Basically, we should be getting back to normal where I'm aiming to put a video up each week about what I've been up to. So. Okay, that's the milk bubbling over. See you later, guys. Bye, have a good week.